here with us here on Market Guru. We're in conversation with Adrian Mowat of JP Morgan. Adrian, what's your call on the Indian IT sector? I'm going to kick off with that. We've more or less covered uh, all the major earnings this time around. Some concerns uh, with regards to a slightly slower pace of growth. So as, as someone advising on global emerging market portfolios, uh, my advice is to be overweight Indian IT uh, in the context of being very overweight the Indian market. At this point in time, if I was advising a dedicated Indian manager, I would be taking money out of Indian IT and putting it into cyclicals. Uh, but let's go back to my previous statement on what we're doing within a global emerging market portfolio. When we think about Indian IT, the macro story is a highly competitive currency. The domestic labor market for graduates is still relatively soft, so there's very moderate cost inflation on the Indian IT names. Uh, their customer base, particularly in the United States, um, has regulatory and efficiency push to spend on IT, but they want to spend on IT that's priced at a competitive level, um, and Indian IT companies uh, provide that. Adrian, let's uh, take that economy conversation forward with the financials. Uh, where would you recommend uh, one, how would you recommend one treats the banking sector now and yet there have been some NPA concerns on the public sector side, uh, but on the private sector side, the growth seems to be stable for now. Yeah, so I, th I think the two dynamics are going to be um, a accelerating economy. Now, what does accelerating economy do for you as a financial? It reduces your fears around non-performing loans. At the same time, gives you more top-line growth in terms of loan growth. If you can combine that with a reduction in food inflation and a reduction in energy inflation. And let's not forget, for the last two and a half years, the annual increase in the diesel price has been 19%. Uh, it's a very beautiful combination for the financials. It's likely that interest rates expectations moderate uh, just as growth is accelerating. And we would see the banks doing extremely well out of that combination. Since we're talking economy and recovery, do you believe that cement is another space that uh, you would ask investors to explore? Yeah, so if you think about the, the key issues for um, a cement company, they're extremely energy intensive businesses, uh, both in the production of clinker, often using thermal coal, and thermal coal, and certainly internationally, has been falling a lot. Uh, it's also energy intensive as you get this very heavy, relatively low priced commodity uh, to the consumer. So the diesel price is very important for cement companies. Uh, in terms of the demand side, uh, we do see real estate uh, beginning to expand once more. Uh, many projects that had been on hold during the previous administration are getting the nod and moving ahead. Uh, so I think you've got a good com uh, combination of falling input prices uh, with um, the benefit of a pickup in demand. Uh, within this discussion of um, royalties around mines, in addition to coal, uh, there was also some clarity today with regards to the mining of limestone as well. Uh, so that should also be helpful as removing a regulatory over, uh, overhang. Adrian, auto is something uh, you've liked past in JP Morgan. Uh, is that still looking good? Because the numbers seem to be improving uh, in the sales front at least. Well, again, I think let's be patient here. We've just had the cuts in the diesel price. Uh, we're, we're going to take a benefit from that over the next 12 months. And so I would expect a gradual acceleration in both two-wheeler as well as four-wheeler sales over the next 12 months and want to remain long these consumer discretionary names. Adrian, CAPEX, uh, you know, was a theme that investors wanted to see uh, emerging in India. Is there any sign of this in the backdrop of reforms? Is it still too early to, to see that kick in? You see, generally what we find uh, across the globe is very cautious corporates uh, that's also a feature uh, that we're seeing in the emerging world. And I would imagine Indian corporates, um, particularly after a period of time where economic activity has been relatively weak, and there is an output gap in India, 
will be cautious about committing to big capex schemes. Uh, what they'll be looking for is the benefit of the fall in inflation uh, to boost discretionary income, uh, to help their top line that way. And then as they also see more action from the government, then I think capex sustains the upturn rather than leads the upturn. It's very unusual for capex to lead the upturn. Uh, so that's what I would expect to happen. So I'm sure come the first quarter of next year, you'll have people talking about they're a little bit disappointed that growth in uh, loans hasn't picked up more uh, because of the cautious nature of corporates. I think that'll go hand in hand uh, with inflation con continuing to come down, uh, both driven by what's happening in the energy markets, uh, but also more importantly, uh, better management of food inflation. And the RBI, uh, where there's current expectations, but even the RBI may be raising rates next year, could be in a position where they're under pressure to cut rates because real interest rates are, are increasing. You know, if that's what comes out, and that's not the base case at this point in time, and that's occurring after corporate's top lines are picked up, uh, then that'll be a very attractive environment for CapEx. But think of that as a 2016 story, not a 2015 story. You know, Adrian, uh, you've uh, maintained an optimistic outlook uh, even when, you know, a lot of people were turning cynical. But I'm going to push the envelope a little bit right now. Let's talk about what can go wrong or, or the aspects that still need some repair when it comes to the Indian economy. I, d I don't see any specific issue in India uh, that makes me more anxious than perhaps uh, other emerging markets at this point in time. Um, we are seeing announcements from the government. We are seeing inflation surprising on the downside. Uh, we've got a very nice tailwind from lower oil price. Uh, the monsoon uh, is tracking better than feared at the initial stage of the monsoon. Uh, so I, I think if I'm concerned about anything, and this is a sort of broad global theme, is just how cautious corporations are these days and that there is a chance that investors are concerned that they don't see the pickup in capex uh, that perhaps they had been expecting. Uh, but I, I don't see that as an Indian specific problem. I think that's a general global problem. All right, so Adrian, what's the call then on India from a 12 month horizon of where do you see us headed? I'd be extremely disappointed if we got a return of less than 20% from the market over the next 12 months. I think everything is in place uh, with a good story on the top line. We have uh, input prices falling, uh, so we would expect more growth on the bottom line than the top line. Uh, I think the environment is also one in which your risk premium in India falls as inflation comes off. Uh, so I'm looking for powerful earnings growth combined with a modest re-rating.